cutting into the sun. I need to get out and clean my window. That's clear here somewhere. So we're working our way across the hill. Uh, you can see the mountains out there. Snow covered top with the little, little trees. I don't know if you can see. Well, I can go down here a little bit. It's much less from a distance. I'm loading some wood. Look down there. You just barely see west. Right there. It's a pretty good sized pile of hardwood. back we're working this hill I, uh, maybe when I get out I, I have to you know there's like snow banks on all the trails here um, so it's kind of a pain in the butt but I'll get out we have to you know get as much as I can tracking off to the side get wood into get wood into the main or whatever trail I'm in because I need most of the brush for the for the forwarder. But you can see I tracked off in there and got there's a patch of wood there. And then it's kinda of hard to tell but maybe if I get off don't fall. But you can see like that's all the snow but that's all snow that I took the head and pushed up so pretty good sized snow bank right there don't usually have to do that this is probably one of the first jobs I've ever had to do that but so I'll have to tr track off from there and I'll get those what do you hit three look at that multitasking those three rock maple and bring them up in here so it's really good that I have a fixed hat otherwise this would be a lot more difficult look at all the mountains isn't that nice and then the wood piles right down in there but it is beautiful here but that kind of like that that terrain over there is, the, is pretty much the same as it is here it's really hard to tell but this goes uphill pretty steep and I've had to loop the trails around because I couldn't come straight out of the yard so I had to put a trail that goes up and around does a loop here and comes back and then if the if the hill's not too sideling then I can I'm trying to go up and find flat spots so I don't know if you how much you can hear this but it's like in there like I won't be able to go up over that it doesn't look steep but it's it is with the snow pretty good hardwood some of it. Some of it's a little nasty. So, thought I'd show you guys that. Now we'll clean the window. Oh, look at that. Probably now the inside's dirtier than I thought, too. You always get that spot of grease. It doesn't come off very much. Got my gallon of water. Look at that nasty rag. Ew. No wonder.
wonder I can't see in the sun. That'll be better. The only other problem with uh, like going off to the side here to get these trees um, with this much snow is uh, you cut the harvester kind of rides up on it, so um, I want to end operating again. So the harvester kind of rides up on the snow. This is more tilted than it looks. So when I go to grab a heavier tree, the whole machine sets down It'll, and then it makes it hard to back out. It probably won't, won't be able to kind of tell in the video, but you know, the uphill side doesn't have as much weight, so then it'll kind of push the machine down. It's a little bit of a pain. Wes, Wes has got a bucket of hardwood he's uh, figured out that where he has trouble in the snow backing up he'll use that bucket hanging off the high side to get more traction or or maybe just even in the, be in the back a little you know if he holds it out kind of on this side of the bump it helps him get a little traction so he's figuring out little tricks to get up the steeper ground so it's getting clever that's what I like to see Got that bucket of hardwood out there, hardwood logs trying to get back up. He's, you kind of see he's struggling a little. I guess he got to where he needed to. And we're working a little closer. I usually like to have a little more of a lead, but um, with all this snow in the ground, it's slowing me up. So I told him. processing it out of the trail but he'll still be able to get it and I won't have to track so far so I'm going to do that and I'll show you how I laid it out to do it so I toss those trees down there what I what I do is I open my knives which hold the help hold the tree up in the head open them out and as I'm 
as I'm tilting the tree down, I hit the feed wheels out and it'll shoot it down the hill. So actually, I, it's, it's close enough where I'll get back in the trail and I'll grab them and process them on the other side of the tree. So, and that allowed me to get up in here and get a pocket of wood that I won't be able to get from over there and get in here. You'll kind of see how there's no wood kind of through here. So I was able to get from this, this trail, this, this corner done. So, so that's little tricks. The other thing I'll, I'll show you in another video or if I place another thing I'll do if it makes sense instead of throwing the wood down there. I'll lay them uphill and then feed them down to the trail to the kind of shovel or whatever you call it. So anyways, I think that'll probably be about it for today. So hopefully you enjoy the video. Like, subscribe, comment. Catch you later.